Hi. Uh, this is a new video that I'm working on. I uh, hope you'll be able to make it out. This is Comic Book Collector uh, 5.2. It's the new software that I'm using to help keep track of my collection. Right now, my collection is at a little, just, it's giving me to hit the 12,000 mark. Um, this is a great software. I highly recommend it. Uh, the cool thing is, is right now you see the folders, but it has the capability to download uh, covers when you add something new to the uh, to your collection. So, for instance, I am going to pull up. I figure I might as well kill two birds with one stone, because it'd be a good way for to show you some of my comic book collection. Right now, I'm going to pull up, uh, like I say, Authority which is one of my favorite independent uh, I wouldn't say my favorite but I kinda like it but what you see here it gives you an overview of all the issues I have in my collection from authority and you have the cover art with it uh, you can do a flow uh, format uh, cover flow format this which is what I usually keep it in or you can do uh, all the individual images, all the, you the, the, it can do it like in, like images, that's called images, so. And then you just double click on one, and it wait for a moment, and it'll bring up the file on that one particular issue. And it gives you everything you need to know on that, that one issue. The artist tells you you have any collection if you want to sell it, a lot of good stuff. Um, but I normally keep mine in, um, uh, cover flow and like for instance uh, here's Avengers uh, volume 1 oops did I click on it there it goes and uh, for some reason my computer has been acting up lately so it's, it's nothing with the software it's more or less my computer and uh, let me close it there it is um, here gives you an idea of all the issues you see right here is what I is all from the volume one Avengers time period that's in my collection. And the cool part, like I say, you can see the covers. So it gives you an idea of what I you know, without me actually physically pulling up the comic books and showing you it, it shows you the actual covers in my collection, the books in my collection. And I was thinking about trying to, if you're interested, if people think it would be a cool idea. I was going to discuss comic book, my favorite comic books uh, this way, instead of me pulling them out and digging them up. Like for instance, one of my favorite time periods is actually right here. One of the cool time periods. I'm going to say my favorite. I have a lot of favorites, but it's Avengers versus Defenders. Uh, this one's where Scarlet Witch and the Vision fought uh, Silver Surfer. In my personal opinion, Vision looked like he was giving, he was beating Silver Surfer. But Scarlet Witch was getting ready to get killed, so he had to go. He had to make a choice, and he chose to save her. But um, this gives you like a little insight. It's, it it's, it flows very well, depending on your computer. My computer right now is acting kind of funny, so it's not the software. It's most it's my computer right now. I have, I have to. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it. But um, you can you like this is another cool time period too. Uh, it's a very, a very cool software, and I would say if you have anywhere I would say 500 or more comic books, I and you and you think your collection is going to keep growing, I would say invest into it. Um, there is if you want the web, you can it's you can even look up. Uh, uh, it's collections.com or comic book or you can just type in the word comic book collector 5.2 pro on uh, Google it if you can't find either, either those two ways uh, drop me an email and I'll send you the link here go like Avengers um, this is like volume 3 um, this is when Perez came back and and uh, it's, and so it's really really cool um, you can, uh, like I said, all oh, see how I'm doing now. I'm just highlighting. Uh, this is Batman and Robin. I got pretty much a complete run of this. Uh, it's 
I would say I purchase. I also purchase a um, a barcode reader, as you can see here, and that way I can just scan all the new comic books in, plug into the barcode reader, tell it to read a barcode. All the images pop up. All I can do is click and put it in my collection, and that's it. No typing or anything. I don't have to type literally not one word, not one letter. Uh, here I have set up is my want list, my wish list stuff that I'm looking for and uh, it basically it, it keeps tr uh, I just either add stuff or get rid of stuff I say like for instance um, uh, I'm looking for a new version of this comic book here uh, once once I get the issue all I gotta do is double click on it and t type click in in collection boom now it'll show up in my collection and it takes it off my wish list. But, uh, yeah, I gotta get a new version of uh, the first appearance of Batgirl. The one I have is kind of crappy. And, you know, I'm on the fence about these because this basically I like Neil Adams' art, but it's just basically his, he only does the covers. That's during the time period he's doing the covers. And, uh, there, no. there's one or two Fantastic Four books that. Oddly enough, I thought I had, but apparently I don't. But, um, what's this new Teen Titans? Uh, yeah, I, it, it's kind of weird. When I was buying the Teen Titans, at that time, back when this was kind of, there was actually two titles. And uh, I never really brought too much of this, this title. I just mostly brought the other one. And uh, this is, yeah, this one's a, the, the New Titans. Uh, then it was the New Teen Titans. And... I didn't want to spend a lot of money buying two cover two books of the same team. I no, I know now. We just went ahead and did it. And there's a couple of like Incredible Hulk's I'm looking for, um, stuff like that to give you an idea of what. But what's cool about this is that I also have there's a software also go, you can put it on. I have it on my iPad. So now when I go to conventions, all I gotta do is pull up the software on my iPad, and I and the iPad looks, looks exactly like this. So when I find something, and the really, the really nice part about it is like a lot of times my wife helps me to find stuff at conventions, but she's not into comic books. So if she's to find something, she can actually, she actually has a cover here to match up to make sure she's getting the right issue. And uh, that's really, really great because, you know, she sometimes goes places and sees uh, comic book stores. She can just actually pull this off and say, oh, okay, this is the right one that he's looking for. Uh, another thing I like about it too, it doesn't get into the whole value of comic, how much the comics are value. I don't really care to know that information. Some people do. I don't really. So you don't get like you you, when you, you don't get any sort of that information. Like the first print Super Surfer is going for X amount of dollars. But they, it does have a lot of web support, and there, there's actually like a community online where people you, people can see your collection, or you can see other people's collection. If you're selling something, you can sell it to them, or they can see if you got something that they want to buy, or you can see what they got something that you want to buy. I don't participate in that, uh, just as a rule of thumb. I'm just too lazy to be uh, uh, to do something like that. But it is available to you. The company is a very good company. They're very. They have a lot of. Uh, they have a good uh, help desk. Um, you have any problems, they get right back. Get to get back to you right away. I really, really recommend it. Like I said, personally, if your collection is 500, say, I would even say maybe even 400 comic books or 300. I would even drop it down to three. If you know that you're going to collect comic books, you know that your collection is going to grow. I would say it is actually a good investment to get it. Now, I had 11,000 comic books. It took me like a couple of weekends to enter all the comic books into the system because the majority of my comic books don't have barcodes. But if you if your collection, you got a couple hundred comic books and they all got barcodes, I say spend a little extra money if you, if you can afford it and buy the barcode reader because then it would take you a matter of uh, minutes to put all your issue, your collection into the into the into the software and um, me I had to do it old fashioned way I had to actually go and look at the comic books and click 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 and it's not too bad it, might, it took me like like I said it took me a couple weekends to do that 
but uh, the the barcode reader is a godsend because now when I get new issues, it takes me. I will get say like I have anywhere between twenty five or thirty new issues that I have to put in here. In the old software that I use, I would have to sit there. First, you have to wait for updates, that, so that see, in to, for them to put updates in. This one does updates. I don't know, like probably I don't know. They're doing they send them down like every five minutes or whatever. But it seems it's really really fast. They're actually ahead of the issues that are on the stand. But what's cool about this is uh, my old one. What I didn't like, I had to wait for the updates, and they only did an update probably every two weeks or something like that. And you didn't. And plus, I didn't even have the covers. I had to scan the covers in myself, and I got tired of doing that. And uh, like I said, you had to always wait. <laughs> this one's totally opposite. If the if they they actually have issues that are not even out on the stand yet, the stands yet. So actually, you're, you, it, the software is actually waiting for you to update. I mean, actually waiting on you to tell it that you have a new comic books. It's not the other way around. Um, and the barcoder, all I got to do is scan the, the barcodes in, hook it up to this, type, uh, say new, go to new issue, like add a comic book. It takes a second to pop up. Add a comic book. I click on uh, search for barcode reader. My barcode reader is not, well, actually, I can hook it up right now. Just give me one second. I think I might actually have a new issue sitting. What I usually do is I scan like a whole bunch of issues in there, and when I feel like it, then I go and connect the barcode reader to it. And this tell it to find barcode reader. Oops, sorry. Press it. And oops, sorry, press the wrong thing there. That was actually the website. Uh, tell it to find barcode reader. It takes two seconds to find it. And I did have one or two issues. The issues will pop up like this because that's what, that's what the barcode that it's reading the barcodes. Double click on it, and voila! This is um, I know I just said voila, but I was being funny. Uh, this is uh, Secret Avengers issue number twenty one A. It also has variant covers and all that stuff in it too. A lot of times you don't ever know which cover you have because it could be A B C D E F G, and they don't tell you. Uh, you know, they, they, they couldn't be they couldn't work with you and say that you have one A but you have to figure out which one you have and but this one takes away all that hassle and it automatically the barcode tells it it has I have cover 21A so then it already clicked it's already hot you know checked and then all I gotta do here is my mouse is acting up is add check um, items to my collection and it's added to my collection. Now I have a Captain America here and I go down to the bottom of this and I see that it is uh, Captain America uh, 6A. Click here, add it, done. Oh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong one, but anyway. Uh, sorry about that. Actually, I was supposed to click on seven, and I tell it that at at it there, it's done. And then you close it, and uh, if you was to open up, I go back to my collections. Two bars down here at the bottom. One is collection, and one is wish list. Right now, I got wish list higher. I highlight it. I go back to collection, and it pops up my. Uh, give me a second. Pops up my collection. And then you know you can if you want to see what you just did, uh, go to Captain America. I think it's Volume Six. Whoops, wrong one. Yes, yeah, Volume Six. Here it is, right here. You scroll over to the newest one, and there it is, right there. It's so simple. I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, drop me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care. Talk to you later.